Hey everybody, I'm Matt from the Creator Team and you're watching our weekly workshop. We recently added a brand new component, our slider component that is based on the Ion Slides directive from Ionic Framework. So today I wanted to showcase off two cool things that you can do with the slider component. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a full height welcome slider. So you see these in a lot of apps. They're, you know, they take up the entire screen. They normally have nice background colors, some beautiful images, and a little note about what the app does before sending you to the login page. So we're gonna make a full screen welcome slider. And then we're also going to use a list of, uh, a list of different images to populate a slider dynamically. So first let's jump in and create a new project here. I'm just gonna call this slider. We're just gonna keep with a simple blank template today. And on this page, we are gonna to wanna to start creating our welcome slider. So let's drag over a slider. And as you can see, it takes up our normal content. So we're gonna to have to do a couple things to get this to actually be full height. So let's start off with the page. So if you select the page here, we're gonna do a couple different things. First thing we're gonna do is turn off padding. Then we are going to hide the header. Now there's this margin up here. So we're also going to get rid of the header margin. So those are the three things right now that we have to do on the page. Then click on the slider component on the left here. And for height, we are also going to do 100% on height. So if we bring this up now, you'll see we have our default cat pictures taken up the whole screen. Looks kind of nice. So let's start actually taking each of these slides. And actually, you know what? We're gonna delete two of them and just work on one. We're gonna duplicate this one as we go to start working with it. Okay, so let's remove the background image. First of all, we don't need a background image quite yet, but we do want a background color. So I am going to paste in a nice blue hex code here. You can also use the slider here if you just wanna pick a random color. And then I'm gonna move over an image. Now let's upload a nice looking image for this, slide one. Okay, now I wanna take this image though and I want it to be vertically centered. So let's go to back to the slide and do vertically aligned content. Let's also give it a little bit of padding on this slide. So this is the individual slide component that we added padded, vertically aligned content. And then on the individual image here, I'm going to do an 80% width on that image. Okay, just to make it a little bit smaller, but we do like that middle center like we have. Now, let's bring in some detail about this feature. So we are gonna center a heading, make the text white so it looks a little better. I'm gonna change it to an H3. We'll call this build your apps. Then let's pull in a paragraph. Also center that, also color it white. And let's do a use creator to build your app online. Okay, so we've got a nice welcome slide here. If we preview it yet again, it's only one slide, but we're gonna use this to build two other slides that look almost the same as this one. So let's go back here. Let's do slide and duplicate this slide. Okay, and let's start to change things here. So first of all, I want to grab a different background color. It normally looks nice if you switch between different colors here. Uh, delete the image source, upload a, our next slides image. Okay, and on this one, we will change this heading to preview on your phone. And change this paragraph to say, make a change, preview it instantly. Okay, and yet again, I like having things where you have a heading describing a feature that the app does, and then a short description under that. You might like a different style, that's totally fine. All right, now let's duplicate that one again, and go grab our background color for this one. All right, we got a nice purple for that. Then let's get rid of that image, upload our next image that we would like. Choose file, then next slide. Okay, and on this one, let's change it to collaborate with anyone. And we'll change the description down here to easily share access to your preview. So in case you didn't guess it, I'm just recreating our welcome slider actually from Creator Mobile. So uh, let's preview this. 
As you can see, we have a very nice looking welcome slider, but we're, we're gonna wanna have a, well, and actually we probably don't want people to go around in a circle either. So let's go to our overall slider component here and turn off loop. So what that means is they will not be able to loop in an infinite circle. It will stop them at the end and it also stops them at the beginning. All right, so now let's yet again duplicate this slide and we're gonna do something a little bit different for this one. We're gonna do a white background. We are going to delete our now invisible heading and paragraph. And then we are going to change this image to creator's logo. And we obviously don't want this logo taking up 80%, so we are gonna change this to 150 pixels. Eh, let's do 100 pixels. Okay, it's still centered there for us. Let's add a spacer component. And let's add a login button. All right, so now if we preview this whole welcome slider here, build your apps, whoop, preview on your phone, collaborate with anyone, and then we have our nice login screen. So we wanna click this and go to a different page. So let's, first of all, get a different page going here. This page, uh, I'm gonna call it Apartment Hunter. We're gonna build like an apartment image slider real quick. Let's, we actually want this one to have a header. Let's call that header Royal. And now a couple weird things are gonna happen here, okay? So we are actually going to change this login button to move to Apartment Hunter but we're gonna to wanna to change the behavior. So first, let me show you what this does that's a little weird. So we don't have a header on our slider page. So when we navigate to the last slide and hit login, it has a weird transition where the header pops down, it goes to the next page, and we have a back button going to our welcome mat, which we probably don't want, okay? So we're gonna do a couple different things. On your slider page, okay, we are gonna scroll down here we are going to disable transition on that page. So we will no longer get a tr transition to the next page. Then on Apartment Hunter, we are going to want to disable the back button so that we don't go back to our welcome slider. Okay, so let's preview this quick. Now, if we go to our final slide, ooh, hit login, we get a nice instant transition that looks normal. So you might have you know, a login page here or anything else you want. But for right now, I want to move on to the next portion of the tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to build a slider based on dynamic images from a scope variable. So in Apartment Hunter here, uh, let's open the code and switch over here, whoops, to our apartment scope. And I have some code already written here that I'm just gonna copy in real quick. And you guys don't need, I'm not gonna put this on the GitHub or anything, it's really easy. It's scope.pictures equals a list of three URLs that I had. Uh, I actually uploaded these using our image component and then just stole the URL uh, from that and pasted it in a list of three different images here. So I'm just gonna save that code, boom. And then let's drag over another slider into this page. Now this page, let's actually add a heading here and we'll call this awesome apartment. Okay, H3, and let's do a paragraph. You should rent this apartment, it's awesome. And then we'll have a button that says rent now, okay? So now when you see a lot of different apps that have sliders, even though we want padding around this content, we actually are gonna wanna select the slider and do make full width on this so that it extends all the way to the edges of the phone. But we still have a little bit of spacing up here. So now we're gonna to wanna to select the whole page and we are going to want to remove the header margin. So now we have that slider moved all the way up our page. It's full width even though we have padding on that content and we can see these nice images. So now let's uh, actually delete two of the slides here. And let's focus on this one slide and we're gonna remove the kitten and we're gonna make this dynamic. So we are gonna actually do an ng repeat on the slide for picture in pictures. And we're gonna switch the background image to text-based input. And what this is gonna allow me to do is do picture here, okay? Where we can now preview 
and it's going to use that URL and repeat the slide three times to get our three apartment images from our dynamic data. As we can see, this looks really nice. So overall, let's preview from the beginning here. We have our nice welcome slider with three different feature slides that go over what our app might do. Our nice logo where we can log in and go to a different page instantly. Then we created an image slider based dynamically on images from your data. So now, you know, I put static images here. You could pull this from an API using some of our API weekly workshops if you want to go look at those. You can do anything you want to get this data into your app. So uh, overall, hope you guys enjoy the new slider component, and I'll catch you next time.